This man pioneered wildlife conservation within our national parks. In 1929, a young naturalist by the name of George Melendez Wright was working in Yosemite when he met Tutuya, the last surviving native of Yosemite's Awanichi tribe. She had returned to the valley 78 years after being kicked out of her ancestral land. And Melendez Wright was the only one on his team able and willing to listen to her. He may have seen in Tutuya what he saw in the natural wilderness and wildlife of Yosemite, and what he would ultimately spend his life trying to preserve. A great American heritage. George Melendez Wright was born in San Francisco in 1904 to an American father who was a sea captain and a Salvadorian mother. His relationship to the natural sciences was groomed by his aunt, who raised him after the untimely deaths of both his parents. By the time Melendez Wright was 15 years old, he was a natural history instructor at a Boy Scout camp and had backpacked alone through California's undeveloped country. After graduating from UC Berkeley, where he studied zoology and forestry, Melendez Wright began working for Yosemite National Park, where he immediately recognized the dangers humans posed for the wildlife living there. At that time, parks were mainly designed to entertain tourists and exploited the animals. But Melendez Wright's ideas about the natural world were more enlightened. He once said, If we destroy nature blindly, it is a boomerang which will be our undoing. He became concerned about the disappearing tool elk, the scarcity of predators, and the black bears eating garbage, and decided something must be done. So Melendez Wright proposed that the park create a scientific survey on the conditions and status of its wildlife. This would allow them to develop better policies for the national park system. It was so important to him that he offered to pay for the entire program himself, which he did for almost a year. But in 1929, George and his band of biologists, known as the opposition party within the NPS, went ahead with their survey. The study consisted of routine 20-mile hikes observing animal life and sleepless nights spent writing his observations by the fire. Four years and 11,000 miles later, their landmark survey, Fauna of the National Parks, was completed, and wildlife conservation became a crucial part of park management. Just a year later, Melendez Wright was appointed by then-President Roosevelt as the head of the National Resources Board. But in 1935, on his way back home from scouting new park locations, George was killed in a car accident. He was 31 years old. In his short life, Melendez Wright redefined the purpose of a national park by cementing the wildlife conservation into its ethos. Unfortunately, despite his preservation efforts, today our national parks face more threats than ever before. Climate change has made forests more susceptible to fires, the current administration has reduced the size of many sites, and billions of populations of animals have been lost in recent decades. It's also worth noting that George Melendez Wright was one person who saw something wrong and righted it, thereby changing the course of history. <laughs>